Transistor as switch. Transistor can be used as a switch by operating it in two regions. One is cutoff region and the other is saturation region. In cutoff region, the transistor is completely off and in saturation region, the transistor is on and maximum collector current flows through it. There are two types of transistors, one is NPN transistor and the other is PNP transistor. In this session, for demonstration, I will be taking NPN transistor DC548B. The complementary version of DC548B is DC556B. As we can see that the transistor has three terminals, collector, emitter and base. Circuit diagram. This is a circuit diagram of the transistor working as a switch. As we can see that a 6 volt DC is supplied across the collector and emitter of the transistor. The base resistor is connected between the positive terminal and the base of the transistor. The load is connected across the positive and the collector terminal of the transistor. The load can be a motor, an LED or a relay. Calculations of transistor working as a switch. From the data sheet of DC548B, it can be seen that the maximum collector current that is allowed is 100 milliampere. So, I need to calculate the base current accordingly. From the data sheet, it is also given that HFE or the gain of the transistor is 200 to 454 B classification. I already told you that I am taking DC548B classification transistor. So, in my case, the gain is between 200 and 450. As an average, I will be taking 325 as the gain. The base current can be calculated as IB is equal to IC by HFE or gain. So, IB is equal to 100 milliampere which is equal to 0.1 amperes divided by 325 which is the average of 200 and 450 which result in the base current of 0 0.0003 amperes so now i got the base current for which the collector current will be 100 milliamperes now i have to calculate the base resistance which is rb which is give is equal to vdc minus 0.7 divided by ib in the previous circuit diagram, it is shown that the, the DC voltage is 6 volt. So, RB can be calculated as RB is equal to 6 minus 0.7 divided by base current 0 0.0003 amperes, which is equal to 17,666 ohm, which can be rounded up to 17 kilo ohm. So, I am taking 17 kilo ohm resistance as the base resistance. If I connect 17 kilo ohm resistance to the base of the transistor, then 100 milliampere will flow through the collector of the transistor. As the circuit diagram shows, if I connect an ammeter across the collector point and positive of the transistor with the 17 kilo ohm resistance at the base, then Collector current will be 0.1 ampere or 100 milliamperes. This is the saturation region operation of this transistor. For getting the cutoff region, make the base current is equal to 0. This can be done by connecting the base resistance 17 kilo ohm to the negative terminal of the battery. When we connect the base terminal to the 0, voltage then the collector current will be zero so now the transistor is in cutoff region the operation characteristics of dc 548 b from the data sheet is shown here you can see that if base current is made zero then the collector current will be zero this portion is the cutoff region and when the base current is made 0 0.0003 amperes, the collector current will be 0 0.1 amperes or 100 milliamperes, which is the maximum collector current. Operation of the transistor. In the saturation region, 
I'm going to connect a LED load to the collector. If I connect the base to the positive terminal of the battery, then the LED will glow because it is act acting as a fully on transistor. And in the cutoff region, the LED will be off if I connect the base of the transistor to the zero voltage. Now I will show the real demonstration of the circuit. This is the real circuit with the DC548B transistor. As you can see that the base of the transistor is connected to the positive supply through one 10 kilo ohm resistor and one 6.8 kilo ohm resistor. Together it will constitute 6.8 kilo ohm in series. We have calculated it as 17 kilo ohm and uh, now we are using 16.8 kilo ohm. Small variation is okay. So I am going to measure the collector current with the ammeter. We have, we have calculated it as 100 milliampers. Now we will see what we are getting. We can see that the collector current is increasing and it is getting stable at 96 milliampers. So we have calculated the collector current as 100 milliampers and we are getting it as 96 milliampers. So 96.8. Okay, now it is stable. So uh, this small 4 milliampere variation is okay. We calculated it as 100 milliampers and we are getting it as 96.8 milliampers. Now we will see the circuit in its operation with a load. Here I am going to connect an LED to the collector and positive terminal. You can see that the LED is glowing. Now the base of the transistor is connected to the positive terminal. If I open it, the base current will be zero and the collector and the collector current will be zero and the transistor will go to cutoff region. If I connect the positive to the base again, the transistor will be on and in saturation region it will be glow it will result in the glow of the LED. Either you can just open the base or you can connect it to the negative terminal for making the transistor to operate in the cutoff region. This is saturation region, cutoff region, saturation region, cutoff region. Okay, thank you.